All right, so we're gonna be back on the uh, cyclone and getting in this engine. We will talk about this engine here just a bit more in a second. But uh, as you can see, there goes our Mustang. So 1200 bucks, she's gone. $50 engine and trans, which I've been looking into. It's like the boy was right about the hypo heads with the GT 40 P's. But I'm just digging the fact that we're still such a low budget on this car. It's almost going to be like at the point I made money to build it. Well, hopefully in this title of this video, we actually get done what we're saying we're going to do. Put the engine in a cyclone. So with some help of my son, my buddy Mike, we got her cleaned up pretty good. It's got some gloves stuck in here for right now to pull those out. Spark plugs that aren't the right ones stuck in here, so we didn't paint the cylinders, but man, we got it clean. Yep, I'm about to put that oil pan on there with the right pickup tube we got now. And I sprayed out the engine compartment. We did paint it black. Thought I was going to black out the engine too, but kind of like in the America. That's how the original Cyclone tack is missing. I'll miss and I'll probably put a painted style America one right up on the dash. Another Cyclone piece that was missing was the original tack. We got that. The right one. So I do have the other one posted for sale. The Summit let me keep it. I got the other oil pan. I'm going to list for 50 bucks. That's how we get our free engine because I did take 1200 for the car, but that box body's center sump or rear sump, so I believe they are. 50 bucks with the pickup tube. I think that'll be a quick sell because I got a pickup tube brand new listed separately for 39 So with all that said, that covers my paint. Boy, it took, some, took a minute to get it that clean though. I can't get that bolt out. I tried to drill it. That's why the kid was saying the balance of his junk. So they snapped the bolt off in it. I hit center and it couldn't get nothing to drill through it anyway. So I'm going to pull it off later and try to lay a nut on here and weld right into it and weld the nut together and see if I can screw it out that way. If not, I got to buy a balancer. No big deal. Need a distributor too. There's a couple parts I'm missing, along with some manifolds or headers, because we know they're going to have problems with these 2T40P heads and the angles that the plugs come out with exhaust. So, more issues I'll be looking at down the road. But for right now, I'm going to get it up in the air, put the pickup tube on it, get that oil pan sealed up on there. And I got to go get some oil and a filter and some plugs, because I don't have plugs that even fit into these heads. So, that's what I'll be back with hopefully today we'll at least have it sitting down in there i don't know if you followed along with the cyclone or not because we've been on the blue sky we've been on a peaches which was the tan post i had and then we've had my son's content too so lots of comment love on my channel apparently but anyway this is out of the grill and stuff is out of that parts car so this is just like junk i have just threw it in here instead of throwing it away I have a mint grill for this car that came with it, the original one, and I have mint tail pan stuff, so just like on this blue sky, I got a really beautiful set for this car. I just got to weld up this quarter panel, and we're not even really supposed to be working on this, but I was just tired of seeing it sitting around here with no engine, no trans, and the, the search for the 5 bolt, rare 5 bolt 289 engine that yeah man screw all that more cubic inches another gear how can you beat that and for free and basically i got all my money back so after using 1250 out of the 1800 for the four speed went and bought that car for 1250 and sold it for 12 and still got an oil pan this is free i still have the four speed money I think I shouldn't have sold the four speed. Just went and bought the car and flipped it and made it. But you know what? We can use a little bit of extra money to finish both these cars. I 
that's what we're gonna do with that money so hopefully we'll see him running this year <laughs> and i like to have this one completely done this year so all that said no time lapse i'm just gonna be back getting something done we'll come back and show you where we're at you follow the channel a lot you probably know i'm not a big ford guy till my son got that mercury since then we've gotten a bunch of them here but saying all that recalling back the guy did say this was an 88 cobra mustang lower end the heads were the gt 40 p's which say p there or he had to valve cover off but it's got the four and not three right so it's not a gt 40 head but i'm not a ford guy so but looking at this maybe some of you ford guys know a little more than i do but me looking at this looks like it's all original lower end and not only that it looks like it's in great shape so pistons look good the rods look good we don't have a bunch of slop and nothing I am seeing they've all been numbered. I can zoom in on that. So, I don't know. Looks like they've been stamped pretty good. I'm even on the stamps. I don't have my glasses on, but I can kind of see it without. And sevens. Right? Maybe I'll be able to look at it better when I'm uh, on the computer. That should be eight. It is eight, right? We got that pickup tube on there. I did put the gasket in it. Cleaned it up real good. Got the old gasket off it. But yeah, we feel real tight. And she spins over real good. So no crazy slop nowhere. Yeah, man, we feel good. I think we got a good one. I do believe we got a good one, guys. So that's awesome, right? I might just go ahead and finish getting the stuff I need to get this to fire up. So it's going to mainly consist of an exhaust and a distributor. So, all right, let me get back up off the ground here. Finish putting an oil pan on. I think it would be just about set to put it down in there. Couldn't get the bolt out, and I'll just pull that balancer off later. If I can bump my welder up there and weld that out or not. So, all right, we'll be back in a little bit once I get an oil pan on it. Which is just about ready to go. I'm just going to silicone it to the pan and slap it on there. And that is one of the items that we grabbed while we were grabbing the wrong pickup too is summit but it was a nice ride even got sunburnt face from it and that video watching it back it's crazy we were doing 70 80 mile an hour like that whole damn trip you can see how traffic was blowing around us at like i don't know what were they doing maybe a hundred <laughs> even truckers flying up to there so i don't like that part of riding on the freeway i like the country roads more myself we can just roll like 50 mile an hour. It's pretty nice. I enjoy riding like that. I don't have to go a million mile an hour. So, be back after getting oil pan on. Maybe get a drop down in there.
just like that back under the tarp it goes but we know when we get to it next time man we got some, some drivetrain up in there to play with you gotta dig that right so a good couple days on the cyclone love getting an engine and trans down in it but gonna be back onto this thing let's get some cool recorders painted and get this thing running that's where the video is going to steer back to.